That's right, guys. She's storming one more time. We're supposed to get four to six inches today, so hope everyone stays safe out there. My name is Jason. You're watching Old Car Auto Guy. Stay tuned. <laughs> That is right guys, we have a Jeep with a transmission that actually works. It moves forward and backward as it's supposed to. Everything under the hood has been buttoned up and thankfully so. We still have a little bit of work left to do to this. We've been putting off, putting on some uh, brake rotors and doing a little bit of suspension work on it simply because we did not know the situation on the transmission. So. Uh, today is booked off for our own vehicles today, which means we are going to get this Jeep hopefully 100% buttoned up and ready, finally ready for the lot. So you will see that by the end of the day. The 2012 Malibu here is uh, just simply waiting for a couple of sway bar links and possible sway bar bushings, and then that will be ready for the lot as well. And this 2012 really did clean up nice. I'm impressed with the color choice. I'm not usually big on a tan interior, but they've split this one up. You've got the tan on the seats. You've got like a dark brown on the sides and split up between the carpet and the dash. You know, it uh, almost reminds you of a luxury vehicle. And then you realized it's just a Chevy. The 2009 Malibu is off the rack four new snow tires. The rocker panels have been fixed. We have got to get the windshield replaced on that. Hopefully that'll get done today so that we can finally get rid of this expired inspection sticker. Okay, so there's something that I haven't shared with the channel in a while and that is going over to the radio station to record a new commercial. So. That's where we're headed right now. Now we do have to go to Calus, so we cross the international border because uh, one of the radio stations is over there and we will get that done and share that with you. In the meantime, how about a little bit of road trip montage? six times and I think that <laughs> that's okay the glare will hide up the worst of it anyway we're all set anyways I think I've got this thing at uh, at 30 seconds I think you'll comb over yeah, okay. comb up no, no, I don't think she's not there to do it well see if you'd kept the mullet that you had last year <laughs> you could have up combed that I want to take tank I'm gonna tank this I want to take this opportunity. I don't think you do. I don't think I do. <laughs> I really don't. From my family to yours, have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Let's do the whole thing now. Really? Yeah. You were just getting on a roll. Now. I thought I got that. Yeah, you probably did, but. Slave driver. Old Car Auto is changing things up. Charlotte County's largest selection of used vehicles under 10 grand has just hit the lot. Ask about our financing, 90-day warranty, service after the sale, and we're carrying over our free winter tire deal on every regular priced car, truck, van, and SUV. I want to take this opportunity to thank you for helping us celebrate 10 years of serving Charlotte County in 2018. From my family to yours, have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. You know, you edited that like I did that on the first take. Oh, you did? Yeah. We don't have witnesses, do we? Well, I'll have to edit the same thing on the <laughs> video now. <laughs> I think it's almost perfect. I don't want to 
to say perfect because then they'll go right to your head. Well, I get that way, right? That's what happens. Your hair falls out. I know what's happened to me. I consider it a birth defect. You know, you were born bald. Why not? <laughs> I'm not sure if I was. I can't remember, to be honest with you. Well, I was hoping very much so to be able to put that off in one take, but it didn't happen. Sometimes you just get out of breath. And it goes to show that sometimes when I'm vlogging, I do the same thing. Multiple takes, sometimes I can get it right off the bat. So let's head back to Canada and grab some lunch. I'm not sure if you can hear it, but I've got a noise in the right front, possibly the right rear of bubbles. And it's oscillating, so it sounds like it's something in a uh, in one of the wheels. We'll have to check it out once we get back to the shop and see if it's uh, a brake caliper or brakes or something. Maybe a wheel bearing. Who knows? We'll check it out. So we did manage to get uh, bubbles in the shop and check the front end over really good and we uh, couldn't find anything that was uh, falling apart. So we uh, went around, retorqued all the wheels and uh, as we, uh, oh, here comes an ambulance. is okay anyways we uh, we did retorque the wheels and uh, everything was good there check the front end everything was tight there we do have a bad sway bar link on the driver's side and if you recall back when I first got the vehicle I ended up having to put a uh, driver or a sway bar link on the passenger side so again all that's doing is giving me a little bit more clunking not sure if I'm really gonna worry about it but for the price of them, I think they're only like 18 bucks. I might just put one in, just for the sake of making sure that it's uh, safe. So, and as I'm looking forward from where the ambulance just passed me, I see red and blues up there as well. So, I'm guessing there must be an accident of some sort. Right at the intersection by Tim Hortons, I'd say. Well, I figured I'd take a walk up and see what was going on, and it looks like possibly somebody's been hit by a car, a pedestrian, so I didn't feel that that was worthy of uh, shooting any video for. They've got all the right people in place, ambulance and fire and police are all there, so the fellow looks like he's in good hands. Hopefully he's all, hopefully he's going to be okay. And it snowed again last night. Shepherds kept their watching over silent clocks by nine. Behold, throughout the heavens. Well, we did manage to get the car cleaned off. Now we just got to get to work and do about 23 more. And if you haven't noticed yet, I got my new parking brake. It wasn't that big of a job, really. Shepherds feared and tremble when low above the earth. There's quite a hole there.
Tim's got the strap already. Yeah. <coughs> oh, yeah. It's cold. This is what happens when Jason plows. So Tim's got his Santa Fe. Note to self, don't plow that way next time. So we managed to get the cars cleaned off, the yard all scraped down, and everything is lined up nice and neat. So we're still trying to find a key for the Kia Forte. Don't know whose fault that was. And we are ready for the next storm. Apparently the weather is supposed to get up to about 50 degrees this weekend, a little bit of rain. I'm gonna welcome that for sure. Guys, the contest is still on. 1,000 subscribers by January 31st. I'm giving away $1,000 cash, but you've got to be a subscriber in order to win. Guys, thanks for all the comments, all the subscribers that I have already. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Stay focused on the windshield, not the rear view mirror. Guys, I love you. God bless. We'll see you in the next episode. That Jesus Christ is born. Whoa, go, tell it on the mountain. Over the hills and far away